go, the moment is right. The timing and strategy are ideal. I say that because Jeep CEO's announcement shocked the auto industry. Each Jeep dealership made close sooner than expected. Fans and business experts were shocked by this sudden announcement. Jeep, recognized for its rugged, adventure spirit, is being changed in a way that disappoints its core customers. Stellantis, Jeep's parent company, seems to prioritize market trends and financial margins over what made Jeep a cherished brand for decades. Jeep's old beliefs in Stellantis' modern corporate goals have clashed, which might be disastrous. Jeepers wonder, how do we get here? This is astonishing for a brand that once represented independence and durability. Stellantis now looks set on pushing Jeep into luxury markets, alienating its devoted customers. Jeep's once ironclad relationship with customers appears to be crumbling under corporate greed and bad policies. What caused this surprising disclosure and how will it affect customers in the car industry? Find out why this major change occurred and what the future holds. Sales fall and market changes. Jeep sales have plummeted during the past five years. Jeep sales have fallen for five years in the US. Industry observers were surprised when early 2024 sales fell 9% in the first half. Jeep sales have dropped 34% from peaking at nearly 973,000 vehicles in 2018. The brand struggles to reach 643,000 units, indicating a catastrophe. Popular models like the Cherokee and Renegade have been discontinued, worsening matters. Jeep's success relied on these models, which sold 300,000 units annually between 2016 and 2019. Stellantis unexpectedly phased them out without replacing them. This decision left Jeep's lineup vacant, confounding committed customers who now had fewer options that meet their needs, purposely ignoring Jeep's original appeal. Inventory levels are another bad flag. Jeep dealerships have a mound of unsold automobiles despite manufacturing. On dealer lots, about 48,000 2023 models are still sitting. This surplus of automobiles and 2,000 unsold 2022 models implies Stellantis' overestimated market demand. A good automobile market day supply is 60 to 70 days. Jeep's current supply substantially surpasses this standard, indicating a troubling Divergence between production and consumer demand. What does this mean for Jeep buyers and fans? Can a brand we've trusted for years crumble or is there something else going on? Let's examine the situation. The most controversial Stellantis move to drastically raise Jeep model prices drove customers away. The average Jeep price has jumped 50% in five years. This is a huge change that has priced many Jeep customers out of the market. Grand Wagoneers are now competing with Land Rover and Lexus. Unfortunately, Jeep has never been about luxury. It was the standard for Durable, cheap off-road vehicles. Consider the Jeep Wrangler. This vehicle was originally lauded for its affordable off-road capability. The latest Wranglers cost over $40,000. This is a big price increase, and many dedicated fans feel misled. What happened to our beloved Jeep? Jeep's shift toward high-end pricing is alienating and contradicts its history. Brand identity was built on them. Stellantis appears to have abandoned these values for luxury revenues. This drastic pricing change has angered Jeep fans. After being squeezed out of their market, many lifelong supporters have complained. They miss when Jeeps didn't require a second mortgage. Jeeps. Aggressive price hikes are driving away customers, tarnishing its reputation. The result, sales decline and brand loyalists become disillusioned. Stellantis horror grows. Stellantis quality control dilemma affects Jeeps already tarnished reputation, compounding the pricing debacle. Engine fire, software problems, and other catastrophic faults are becoming increasingly widespread. These are life-threatening safety issues the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has documented. Many Jeep engine fires, some even with the cars off. This stunning revelation cast doubt on Jeep's manufacturing quality. Stellantis has recalled approximately 71,500 automobiles owing to engine fire hazards. Despite recalls, several customers have complained of unclear company communication, leaving them confused and unhappy. Public anger has grown due to this mismanagement. In addition, Stellantis recalled 1,460,000 vehicles due to significant software flaws that could disable electronic stability control systems. In difficult driving conditions, systems are crucial for vehicle safety. These devices can malfunction, causing significant accidents for drivers and passengers. Stellantis' high recall rate suggests a deeper issue. The company's rapid growth and cost cutting appear to have compromised quality control. Jeep's trust has been eroded by a defective lineup. Many wonder if Stellantis is more concerned with saving money than car safety and reliability after this quality control nightmare. These quality issues have been poorly addressed by Stellantis. The corporation has been hesitant to notice and address issues. Customers are frustrated by this delay and believe Stellantis is more concerned with its bottom line than their safety. This reckless technique could damage Jeep's reputation and consumer loyalty. Stellantis' strategy as Jeep struggles with dwindling sales and mounting discontent. Many analysts question its parent company's strategy. Stellantis appears more concerned in expanding Jeep into luxury than fixing its lineup's major faults. Many are left wondering if Stellantis is purposely guiding Jeep away from its roots or if they're out of touch with Jeep's core clientele. Luxury cars like the Grand Wagoneer indicate a shift toward a high-end market, but this step is risky. Stellantis has invested heavily in luxury SUVs as the automobile industry's future. Jeep hopes to attract wealthy customers by positioning itself alongside Range Rover and Lexus. This method ignores Jeep's brand identity, making it flawed.
Jeep has long appealed to outdoor enthusiasts and adventurers due to its durability and affordability, to a round hole. Industry analysts worry Stellantis's gamble may fail. In the competitive luxury SUV industry, Mercedes-Benz and Land Rover have a strong brand recognition and customer loyalty. Stellantis risks losing Jeep's conventional customers without attracting luxury purchasers by pursuing this niche market. It might backfire, leaving Jeep trapped between two very distinct consumer sectors. The enormous investment Stellantis is making in this upscale turnaround has also worried analysts. Developing new luxury cars like the Grand Wagoneer is expensive and sales have been disappointing. Stellantis could be in financial trouble if this tendency continues having invested heavily in a strategy that fails to deliver. Upgrading may be too risky for. Jeeps. While Stellantis repositions Jeep's market position, its employees are suffering. Stellantis staff relations have deteriorated in recent months. Nearly 98% of United Auto Workers, UA Denver's have filed grievances against the corporation, demonstrating widespread employee unhappiness. Stellantis' failure to deliver job stability and production facility investment is the root of these complaints. People feel duped by the corporation, especially after Stellantis promised to reopen the Belvedere assembly plant in Illinois, but later backtracked. Uh, the decision to scrap these plans due to market conditions has left staff feeling duped and underpaid. As worker dissatisfaction grows, so does talk of a strike. Rumors that Stellantis may move certain. St production plants abroad fuel the uproar. Speculation of relocating Dodge Durango production to Mexico has stoked fears of job cutbacks and staff anxiety. If true, these rumors might ruin Stellantis' already difficult relationship with the UAE Dawa. Moving production could cause further layoffs and cease operations. UABBB President Sean Fain has criticized Stellantis, particularly CEO Carlos Tavares. Fain claims Tavares prioritizes profits and executive bonuses before employee well-being. In a recent interview, Fain said, dot, 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 this company has forgotten who built it. It wasn't the executives sitting in their glass offices. It was the hardworking men and women on the factory floor. His fiery comments have galvanized support for a strike if Stellantis continues on its current path. The stakes and strike threat are considerable. Walkouts could hurt Stellantis production and inventory. A strike would hurt the company's bottom line because thousands of unsold automobiles wait on dealership lots. The next three months will determine if Stellantis can repair its split with employees or if a labor crisis is imminent. Jeep identity crisis. Stellantis is rushing into the electric car market amid. This instability, which many regard as a desperate attempt to keep up with industry developments. The business will invest $46 million to update three Michigan sites for EV manufacture, electrifying Jeep models, including the Wagoneer and Ram 1500 Ruby. While the transition toward electric vehicles is industry-wide, it poses crucial questions about Jeep's future. Jeep has been synonymous with off-roading and adventure for decades. However, electric automobiles may dilute this distinctive brand image. Jeep aficionados doubt an electric Wrangler can match the original. Off-roaders value vehicles that can handle harsh terrain and long treks into the wilderness, which many electric vehicles lack owing to battery life and charging infrastructure difficulties. Stellantis CEO Carlos Tavares acknowledges the difficulties of cost parity between electric and internal combustion engine automobiles. He has admitted the challenges of making electric cars affordable for consumers. But Stellantis risks losing customers if they don't provide competitively priced electric Jeeps. These electric models may seem too pricey, especially compared to gasoline-powered ones. Fans of Jeep feel misled as Stellantis continues its controversial Jeep strategy. Consumer criticism has been quick and severe. Jeep fans feel abandoned after decades of loyalty. Adventurers and off-roaders who wanted rugged, affordable automobiles chose Jeep. Um, many of these devoted customers feel left behind as prices rise and the business focuses on luxury and electric automobiles. Fan groups complaining. Jeep fans are angry at Stellantis for disregarding the brand's ideals. Uh, Jeep was about adventure and freedom, not status, according to a popular internet comment. Saddening to witness its state. The brand's new orientation has disappointed thousands of fans. The steep price hikes have alienated a large percentage of Jeep's traditional customers. Jeep Wranglers, previously cheap off-road vehicles, are now out of reach for many. The beginning price of over $40,000 has upset buyers and pushed them out of a once popular sector. It's far from the days when Jeeps advertised freedom and adventure without breaking the wallet. Jeep's switch to electric cars has divided fans. Some people are enthused about an electric Jeep, but others are wary. Electric vehicle reliability and feasibility in harsh situations are off-road enthusiasts' key concerns. Jeepers who use their vehicles for outdoor trips worry about running out of battery power on a lonely trail. Comments like illustrate a major challenge Stellantis must overcome to regain its legacy audience. Dark future. Jeep's future uncertainty is hurting consumers and dealerships. Jeep dealers are worried about dealership closures due to speculations. Stellantis. A impending closure of all Jeep dealerships may be the end of the brand's retail business. Such closures would be unparalleled in the automobile sector transforming Jeep vehicle sales in the U.S. Stellantis' aggressive drive toward online sales and direct-to-consumer models has damaged its dealership relationships in recent years. This change has left many established dealerships feeling marginalized and unsure. In a recent interview, a renowned Jeep dealership owner complained that Stellantis tends to ignore local dealerships. We've driven Jeep sales for decades, but now they're 
ignoring us. Online sales and direct distribution may save money, but they are risky. Dealerships have traditionally built client connections and provided personalized service that online platforms cannot match. Stellantis risks losing customers by not supporting these dealerships. Many purchasers still prefer the traditional car buying experience where they can test drive and talk to educated salespeople. A dangerous future bet. Stellantis' entry into the electric vehicle market has drawn conflicting reviews from inside and outside the corporation. The move toward electric vehicles fits with industry trends as automakers rush to fulfill new environmental standards and cut carbon emissions. The decision is risky, especially for Jeep, which is known for its robust gasoline-powered vehicles. Stellantis' significant investment in electric vehicle production shows it's betting big on electrification. The company's $46 million investment in Michigan operations to make electric Wagoneer and Ram 1500 REV models sends a strong message about its market outlook. However, Stellantis' audacious strategy raises concerns about placing all its eggs in one basket. Stellantis. Major problem with this electric transition is cost parity with internal combustion engine automobiles. CEO Carlos Tavares has acknowledged the challenges of making electric Jeeps cheap. Due to the high cost of batteries and other components, electric models cost more to construct, which raises consumer prices. Stellantis risks losing buyers who think electric cars are too pricey if it cannot lower these prices. Uh, beyond financial issues, this shift may affect Jeep's brand identity. Jeep has symbolized adventure toughness and versatility for decades. Many enthusiasts doubt an electric vehicle can meet these expectations, fearing it will degrade the brand's rough character. Many associate the Jeep Wrangler with off-road capabilities and independence. An electric version of this model may appeal to environmentally aware consumers, but it may alienate Jeep enthusiasts who prefer the scream of a gasoline engine and its durability in difficult terrain. Stellantis bet on electric vehicles. It may sound forward-thinking, but it might backfire if the market doesn't respond. The corporation is risking a lot by emphasizing electric cars while many consumers are still hesitant to switch. Lack of charging infrastructure, range anxiety, and higher upfront costs of electric vehicles continue to hinder adoption. Stellantis may be in danger if it cannot overcome these obstacles. Dealership lots full of unsold electric Jeeps and no clear road forward. Can Stellantis weather the storm? Stellantis is. Finding it harder to ignore Jeep's financial problems. Despite brand revamps and market shifts, the numbers are gloomy. Jeep sales drop over the past five years has put Stellantis' bottom line under pressure and losses are mounting. Stellantis saw global earnings plummet 48% in the first half of 2024. These significant declines hurt revenue and suggest the company's approach is incorrect. Stellantis' aggressive push into the luxury SUV sector has alienated Jeep's core customers and failed to recruit enough new buyers to make up the gap. Classic Jeep lovers have soured on models, like the Grand Wagoneer, due to their high prices. As luxury vehicle production costs rise and customer income declines, Stellantis is in a perilous financial situation due to this market focus shift. Stellantis has a huge inventory surplus, making issues worse. With roughly 48,000 unsold 2023 models on dealer lots, the firm is struggling with cash flow. For struggling dealerships, unsold inventory ties up capital, slows model production, and raises financial strain. This surplus is more than a temporary setback. For Stellantis, it indicates systemic concerns that could jeopardize the company's future. Stellantis has taken dramatic measures like laying off workers and decreasing costs due to financial challenges. While these strategies may benefit the company's finances temporarily, they carry substantial hazards. Saving money by cutting workers and production facility expenditures hurts the company's ability to develop and fulfill future demand. Stellantis must balance financial stability with Jeep consumers' quality and reliability. If the company doesn't strike the appropriate balance, it could spiral downward and be hard to recover from. Many consider Stellantis' aggressive drive toward electric vehicles as an essential move to keep up with industry developments, but it's also a risky gamble that might make or kill the firm. Stellantis and other traditional automakers are under pressure to electrify or risk falling behind. Stellantis aim to lead the EV industry by investing extensively on electric Jeeps is difficult. Stellantis struggles to convert Jeeps loyalists to electric cars. Jeep buyers may not want green technologies. They want a car for rough terrain, long drives, and everything in between. Jeep enthusiasts are skeptical of electric versions of famous models like the Wagoneer, questioning whether they can live up to the brand's rough image. Online comments like an electric Jeep just isn't a true Jeep show the brand's loyal followers' reluctance to change. Stellantis acknowledges these problems but remains dedicated to electric vehicles. As governments worldwide tighten pollution rules, the company's leadership feels the switch to electric vehicles is necessary for long-term survival. This risk may not pay off. Stellantis might lose billions investing in a product line that doesn't sell if the electric Jeeps don't sell. Bets are hazardous and stakes are big. Will Jeep survive? Jeep's future is uncertain with Stellantis' ambitious new plan. Jeep's shift toward luxury and electrified vehicles has raised questions about its future in a fast-changing sector. Once associated with toughness and adventure, the brand is suffering an identity crisis that might change its course. The gap between Stellantis' future vision and Jeep's devoted customers' expectations is growing. The promise of independence and off-road capabilities has defined Jeep for decades. Jeep aficionados who loved its simplicity and reliability feel betrayed by the switch to luxury SUVs and electric versions. Stellantis fears losing its loyal customers if it doesn't address their issues. But a nationwide strike by Jeep's workers is another obstacle. Stellantis and the UAWL are at a breaking point 
with union leaders threatening dramatic action if the corporation doesn't address job security and fair salaries. A strike might cripple Stellantis by suspending production at a crucial time. When inventory is high and sales are low, a production setback could mean financial devastation. Finally, bankruptcy looms. Uh, Stellantis denies defeat, but financial indicators are worrisome. Financial instability has resulted from falling sales, increased operational costs, and the large electric car changeover expenditure. Some analysts are predicting that Stellantis may file for bankruptcy or sell off sections of its firm if things don't improve quickly. Once unimaginable fast industry shifts have left even the most established automakers vulnerable, Jeep's future? Will Stellantis' bold strategy succeed or doom the company? The brand must navigate these tumultuous waters in the next months. Today's choices will influence Jeep's destiny for years. All eyes are on Stellantis as it tries to, tries to turn the firm around. We want your feedback before we finish. What do you think of Jeep's luxury and electrified push? Leave a comment on if this is the brand's needed progression or a terrible move.